What a huge thank you for joining us here at the official opening of the brand new inpatient building here at Rotorua Hospital. Uh, a process which has taken many, many years with a lot of people uh, behind it, uh, both money-wise, the construction team, the Lakes DHB board, uh, members of parliament, local iwi, local Māori as well. Uh, so we celebrate with everyone today. We're standing here in the old foyer of the old Rotorua Hospital and as we move on through these two double doors, uh, you can actually smell, you can smell the new smell of the inpatient building of uh, the new Rotorua Hospital. We're going to head around the corner to the official opening ceremony and hopefully we'll catch up with a few of the important people who have been a part of this uh, development over the last two or three years uh, after that opening ceremony has happened. First stage of the inpatient building at Rotorua Hospital. Um, Mr. Ryle, just we are so proud. It is just a fantastic facility. Well, it's great, and it's great for the people of Rotorua. It's an $83 million project. The building we opened today was over $30 million. Uh, everyone's going to go up there and have a look. It's going to make a big difference. You know, you're getting more patients seen faster at Rotorua Public Hospital, and this will really speed it up for patients even further and make it better for the staff. Too. It was interesting some of the comments that we had at the opening this morning about people wanting to get sick just to go and have a stay there. <laughs> well, don't, don't encourage that. <laughs> uh, we've got the winter rush on. Uh, look, people are really going to enjoy it. Look, uh, there, there's been some problems at the Rotorua Hospital building for quite some time, you know, steam coming through the floorboards and all sorts of business. Uh, this is really setting it up for the future, and uh, it's part, as I said earlier, of that $83 million over the next few years. It's great. And also took the opportunity to visit the new laboratory, which was opened just a few months ago as well. So are we uh, top of the bunch now in the way of hospitals around the country? Well, the buildings are, are on track. I tell you, the really important thing that as a patient you want to know is that you're getting good service. And I, one of the things I did in Rotorua was also present a certificate to the staff who are doing the quit smoking in the hospital. And that's about every patient who turns up at the hospital who's a smoker gets offered some smoking cessation advice. And Rotorua Hospital is the first in the country to hit 100%. And that's absolutely fantastic. Uh, one of the services, of course, who will use this uh, quite considerably is St John's Ambulance. With me is the operations manager here uh, for our district, Norm Redinger. Hello. Welcome. How are you doing? Um, fantastic opening, fantastic hospital. I mean, obviously, it's going to be good for you guys in the end. Absolutely. Look, uh, we, we were lucky enough to get a tour of this facility a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we were taken through um, all the medical wards up here, um, the ICU, the CCU. And uh, I have to say it was outstanding. You know, we had members of the group saying, um, how do you get to book a room in this place? And we said, well, we can make some suggestions. You might not like them. But uh, look, as a facility, a medical facility, it's absolutely outstanding. Uh, one of the things we like as a service is they've, um, they've created uh, a system with, that they call front of house and back of house. So what you see here is front of house. Um, for the ambulance service, when we're dealing with patients who are sick or injured on stretches, uh, we've got private corridors or corridors back of house where we can move patients in and out without running them through public areas. So that alone, uh, to me, is a, is a great step forward and you know, great for uh, privacy for the patients, uh, but a wonderful facility. And the other thing for me is, uh, for the staff working here, it would, would be like a shot in the arm. You know, it's just a beautiful, you know, the rooms are beautiful, the, the, the staff facilities, patient facilities, outstanding. Cheers. Really good. Thanks, Norman. Thanks for the work that you guys Thank do. Thank you. Cheers. So with me now, a, uh, a wonderful lady who was very instrumental in getting this all underway, our uh, Labour List MP and Road City, Stevie Chadwick. Hi. Hi. What a great day. Oh, it's a fantastic day, and I think the presence, when you walk in here, you know you're on Pukiroa Hill. You didn't in the old hospital. That's significant, but also knowing the years of work with the clinical staff that's gone into, this is very profound. Patients will know that when they come here, they get well-planned services around them, and that's what's important. 
I mean, let's let's get personal with you, though. Yeah. I mean, a big day for you because yeah. uh, you know you started this. You you you, you put a lot of the legwork in. <laughs> I just texted Helen Clark actually uh, because there were some great tensions, as there always are in a building this size. Uh, and we had to advocate about the funding. If you're going to do it, you do it properly. And I was getting concerned that we were trimming too many edges off. Helen will be very excited for Rotorua today. She had a, has a huge love for this place and uh, came here and announced the funding just before we lost the last election, you know, so pork barrel politics yep. doesn't work. Yep. <laughs> uh, but it is a wonderful legacy for um, Ngāti Whakaui and Te Arawa and Tu Paritua and us, the people of Rotorua. It's fantastic. Certainly on behalf of everyone in Rotorua, a uh, big thanks to you. Oh, thank you. That's very touching. With me now is uh, Sir Peter Tapsell, a well-known name, a well-known face around Rotorua. Sir Peter Tapsell, kia ora. Kia ora. So, your feeling, your spirit today as we open the new inpatient building here in Rotorua? Well, I think everyone will recognise that you know, this is a magnificent building and I'm particularly pleased and privileged to see the long-standing association of Ngāti Pukaui with the hospital. And hopefully we'll build on that over the years to come. Because as was uh, mentioned in our opening ceremony uh, today, the importance and the, the meaning for Māori behind Pukaroa Hill. Yeah. And, and I think it's something that the health, those involved in health need to remember, that it is not the building that will one day stand out in people's regard for the hospital, but whether the people who come in here are made to feel comfortable, well, that's the important thing of health. And in some ways, the health... I think it's going off the rails a little bit. Not here, but generally. So here in Rotorua, you think we've, uh, we're, we're a bit top-notch now around the country? All right, well, this, this association is unique. Nothing like this in the rest of the country or in the world. And a magnificent building. But now use the building to create amongst the uh, people, to improve the life of people, make them feel better and more comfortable. That's the important thing. Sir Peter Tapsel, kia ora. Thank you for your time. So there you have it, Rotorua, the official opening today of the new inpatient building for Rotorua Hospital, stage one of this uh, huge redevelopment in on time and I think I'm right in saying under budget. It is a beautiful place and so interesting to uh, learn some of the history behind uh, the old hospital and uh, behind uh, the uh, situation here on Pukiroa Hill from uh, one of our local Kaumatuas. But uh, yeah, I hope we've given you a little bit of an insight to, to the new building building, brain spanking new, and uh, if you ever have to use this facility, like a lot of people have been saying, book a room, because I think it's going to be extremely popular. Uh, Steve Comber for TV Rotorua.